So I'm going to go around. Thank you. So what the next step is going to be, it's going to want us to pour that oil in around the lid here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my scales because we wanted that 120 grams. And I'm actually just going to pour it straight onto my lid. And our measuring cup has these little bumps in it. You may notice under your measuring cup. Might be a little bit tricky to see, but we've actually got some bubbles coming out. And that, that um, oil is just trickling really slowly down into our mixture and it's emulsifying. So that's going to give us the perfect creamy dressing. So 120 grams. I'll get rid of my scales. Has anyone made mayonnaise before? Pop it in the chat and let me know if you have made mayo or Caesar dressing or something like that in your thermo. Now we just click next and just continue that. Give it a little scrape down around that lid. So when you make mayonnaise as an egg in it, generally you use a whole egg and then your um, grape seed oil. You never want to use full strength olive oil because it will taste really strong. This recipe asks for light olive oil, but I use grapeseed because that's what I had in the pantry and that's going to work perfectly too. So my oil has all drizzled down through my mixing bowl lid. I'm going to take that one off and we have made, it's a little bit messy, but look at that. We've just made a perfect thick creamy um, Caesar salad dressing. Isn't that great? It smells absolutely beautiful. Um, so you can leave the butterfly whisk out. You can put it in whatever works for you. You can have those anchovies. Again, just whatever works. So it wants you to transfer it into a bowl, cover with plastic wrap and place in the refrigerator. So I'm going to cheat because I have two bowls and I'm just going to leave that one in the bowl, get it into the fridge, switch and start again. Means that I don't have to clean my mixing bowl. Our next step is 1,200 grams of water. So we are going in with boiling water, sorry. 1,200 grams of boiling water. Now you can use non-boiling, it's just you would need to heat it up first if you were using tap water. So you'd want to heat it in your thermomix first. Otherwise you can boil your kettle, as I've done, whatever works. And then 300 grams of dried spiral pasta. I've got about 315 there, which is fine. Then we're going to put our lid on. So we're going to utilize that guy, uh, that's not guy cooking, yes, guy cooking, but we're going to utilize our layered cooking. So in our Varoma dish, which is the big one at the bottom, I've got six eggs. These are um, fresh laid, so they are a little bit dirty, so please excuse that. But six eggs. And then on our Varoma tray, which is this one here, we've got it has asked for chicken tenderloins, but you may have noticed tenderloins are quite a bit more expensive than breast. So I just buy chicken breast and chop it into tenderloin sizes. So you can do that to help keep the price down. That is totally fine. Insert your aroma tray, put in your 500 grams of chicken tenderloins, and then season chicken with some salt and pepper. Just got the the other day from the mix shop in the sale they're electric ones and they've changed my life can't believe i spent so long manually growing things lid on we've got nine minutes on our timer we're going to varoma temp which is our um highest our steaming temp and then we're going around to speed one and we're using our reverse so our back of our blades which is right to stir that and not shred up any of our pasta so our pasta's cooking in the bowl we've got our eggs um cooking or boiling away and then our chicken cooking up there. Now that's gonna cook for about nine minutes or it does say prolong by one minute until pasta is just cooked. So I'm gonna cook that and then I'm gonna take my pasta out and strain it. Then you put another 500 grams of boiling water in and you put your chicken and your eggs back on and that cooks for another seven minutes. So I'm gonna do that off screen. So when you guys come back and see me, we'll have our pasta cooked, our chicken and our eggs cooked perfectly as well. So I will see you guys shortly. And we are cutting over to Erin. I think if I am correct, let me switch. Yeah. 
Um, did your did your video just disappear? Oh, um, I've got another one on there. Oh, sorry. No, you're right. I can get that one too. Oh, hi everyone. I am Erin. I am a Thermix team leader and consultant based in Druin in Victoria. Um, but I have team members and customers from all, all over Australia, which is really cool. Um, I am the Thermo Loving Mum on Facebook and Instagram. And tonight I'm going to make a pav grazing bo box with you all for dessert. Um, so perfect for Christmas or just any kind of kind of entertaining bring a plate over the festive and summer season. Um, so we're going to start off by making our little pavs. Um, so I've already got them. Sorry, I'm just going to get rid of that notification. Um, I've already got them um, plugged into my week. So just like Chelsea did before, we're going to go up into those three little dots into my week. Um, and then we've got our, the three little components of our recipe tonight there. So I'm using the, it's actually called To Die For Mini Pavlovas um, from Kukudu. And we're just going to uh, make just the pavlova part of this recipe. So um, like always, we could scroll down oh, scroll down and check our recipe if we wanted to. Otherwise, we're just going to hit start cooking. So I've got our oven preheating to 120 already. Um, and I've got our tray ready to go too. Um, so now we're just going to place a bowl on the top of our mixer bowl lid. So leaving the lid on the top, um, popping a bowl on next again. And we're going to pop 200 grams of caster sugar in there. So just watching our scales. Oh, perfect, 200 exactly. Next, and so we're just going to pop that bowl to the side for the time being. Next again. So this is um, really important when you're making pavlovas. So obviously um, I haven't made anything before now, so my bowl is thoroughly clean and dry, but this is probably the most important step. So if you've got any moisture, any kind of oil from something you've made before, your pavlova won't work, your um, eggs won't whip up nicely. So um, you've got a couple of options. I always, my just little trick is that I um, just take it straight out of the dishwasher, a nice hot wash in the dishwasher. And if I'm making pavs, I make sure I use it before I use it for anything else. Otherwise you can do a vinegar wash, um, that kind of thing as well. But yeah, you just wanna make sure your bowl is completely clean and dry. So next we're gonna pop in our butterfly whisk. Like Jeff said, we can watch the video if we wanted to. Otherwise we're just gonna pop that in the top. Next again, we're placing four egg whites at room temperature. So I've just got the egg whites separated in there. Straight in. Oops, one too far, just use the back button. And then just a pinch of salt. Has anyone made pabs before or meringues in their Thermomix? Or those of you without a Thermomix, have you made them with a stand mixer or hand mixer? Pop in the chat box and let me know. So pop in the lid back on with our measuring cup. Um, and now I've got one minute 30 and turning the speed selector to 3.5. So who's made pavs before, like mini pavs or a big pav? There's a couple of really great pav recipes on the on Cookie Doo. Um, there's a nice gingerbread, gingerbread pavlova recipe. There's a mixed dairy stack. There's amazing recipes. If anyone made it, pop in the chat box. I'm making them Saturday. Awesome. I think it just takes the guesswork out of it, having your Thermomix, because um, I'm not sure if anybody has made them pre-Thermomix or someone with that one. Um, they can be hard to get right. Yeah, that's so easy. That's right, Cheryl. Mini ones. Yeah, so easy in your Thermomix. You know, you pop your, as long as it's clean and dry, pop your whiskey in and it's going to do all the work for you. And obviously walk you through those last couple of steps too to make sure it's perfect. So um, super easy, yeah. Reading the chat as it's coming up. Lazy's made them in the mixer. Yeah, grazing boards are my favourite. I think they're perfect because anyone can just pick what they want. You can make a couple of easy and quick little sides. Um, yeah, and then make everyone can have it exactly how they like it, which is perfect. So we've just got about 20 seconds left in there. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the um, kind of the sounds change. So those egg whites are whisking up perfectly there for us. Okay, 10 seconds to go. So we've got obviously got a couple of egg yolks um, left over for this recipe as well. So um, let me know in the chat if you've got any good recipes for some egg yolks that I can uh, use up. What are your favorite things? I was thinking maybe lemon curd or there's a lemon curd cake on the cookie dough as well, which is really nice. Um, so I've got a few to use up. So let me know if you've got any great recipes. Next, so I'll just show you those egg whites. 
Oh, we start so nice and firm there. And the hollandaise, good idea. Um, so, okay. so next, it's got it again set for us. So it's telling us to turn the speed selector to 3.5. It's got six minutes set for us. Meanwhile, follow the following step. So, oops. So turn it to 3.5. And then meanwhile, we're going to slowly add in our reserved sugar one teaspoon at a time until it's thoroughly mixed in. So that's all there is really to it. So we're just literally going to add in one teaspoon at a time. So while I'm doing that, I think we might flip over to Rob's next. Yes. <laughs> We're cutting over to me, Erin. I'll just um, cool. change. We'll pick. Hi, guys. Oh, I'll just done. Oh, done. Um, my name is Kirsty. I am the Naked Pick, so you'll find me. Um, excuse the screaming baby in the background on um, Facebook and Instagram. Also, team leader. Um, sorry, my phone is going chaos tonight. I am making. I'm just going to go back to my home tonight. I'm making like a really um, quick and easy salad, um, you know, less than 10 minutes um, hands on time and, you know, time 30 minutes. So great for those entertaining, you know, we've entered the entertaining season. It's Christmas. It's, you know, we've got catch ups, barbecues, all those sorts of things. So the perfect, um, perfect salad to take along when you're told not to bring anything and it's also healthy too so that's um, a bonus on my side so I'm just going over to the three little dots on the left hand side of my screen and I'm going into my week you'll see here I've got my recipe saved here so I've got it's called the beetroot apple and goat cheese quinoa now pop it in the chat who likes goat cheese I am a sucker for goat cheese never used to like it um, but um, but now obsessed. Sorry, I was just grabbing it out of um the fridge. So I always buy the Meredith um dairy. I had um my Meredith dairy substituted a couple of weeks ago, and I can't even remember the brand, but it was absolutely terrible. Um, it was really rubbery, didn't have the same flavor. I was devastated. Um. So from now on, I have ticked on my Woolies that I don't want anything substituted because I, I couldn't dare have my um, Meredith Dairy substituted. So we're going to start off with our quinoa. It's asking to place a simmering basket instead of the measuring. Oops, no, I've skipped ahead, sorry. Um, we've got our 200 grams of quinoa in here. So it's just in the basket. I already pre-weighed this out before. And we're going to go next. It's asking for 400 grams of water, which we've got in there. Next, it's asking us to place our, um, our simmering basket on the top. Now, I'm already using my simmering basket inside the bowl. Um, for those of you that don't have two bowls, I do... I've got more than two bowls, but I don't know where the rest of my simmering basket is. So I'm just going to use my Varoma because this is the new safety feature that was um, implemented a couple of months ago, um, the update that those of you who have a um, TM6 would have had to do. So I put my simmering basket on and for 15 minutes um, around on 100 degrees around on speed one, we're going to cook that quinoa away. Um, yeah, so we're going to go cross over to... Who are we going over to now? Uh, back to Erin to add vinegar and all the rest of it. So I will pin. Are you all good to go, Erin? Well, we've just got about two minutes left on our looking up there. While Erin's got that going, we will chat about a, a few things. We've got our urn for running at the moment, which I'm... Um, if you follow any of us on socials, you would have heard our earn for is coming to the end. So our earn for is the closest that you will get to a discount on your thermomix. Um, so normally it's you join 
sells six thermomixes and um, the thermo is yours. I like to say free, but it's not, you know, your commission has paid for your thermomix. Um, but at the moment we have our earn four, so sell four thermos and that is yours, completely free. Any sale after that is your commission in your pocket. Now that finishes tomorrow. So if it's something that you've been thinking about, definitely reach out to your consultant or to one of us and we'd love to be able to help you. Um, definitely not something to be passed up if you already have a Thermomix and you really want a second one. Definitely also the time to jump on board um, and get a second Thermo on your bench. I will chuck you guys back over to Erin. All right, we've got about 45 seconds left on that. So it's just incorporating the rest of that sugar. So I've just kind of dumped it in a teaspoon at a time. Um, and then you just want, yeah, want to make sure it's really well mixed so that you don't have kind of any gritty bits in your have um, kind of nothing that's inviting into the pack where it's all gritty. So um, this is obviously doing all that work for us. Um, so about 20 seconds left on that. Um, and then that's pretty much it all nearly I have done. We're just going to add a bit of corn flour and a bit of um, vinegar mix that through and then we're going to pop them out. Uh, so, mix that out. I'll show you how we've gone so far. So now we're up to kind of a really, hopefully you can see it well, really glossy meringue there. Hopefully you can see how nice and glossy that is in this lighting. So again, nexting through that. Um, so we've done that, the teaspoonful. So now we've got 30 seconds, again, um, turning the speed selector to 3.5 and then meanwhile follow the following steps. So we're going to add three teaspoons of white vinegar. And a tablespoon of sunflower. Those of you who haven't made pav before, does this seem easier than what you thought or about the same, harder even? It's a lot of hands-free time in it, as you can see. Like I said earlier, the machine's just doing everything for us. So next, um, and that's it. it. Should be uh, It says the mixture should be thick, glossy and smooth, which it is. So I can't, if I tip that, certainly not coming out nice and thick there. Next, once more, and now it's just telling us to remove the butterfly and then um, place it on the tray. So I'm just going to quickly move the machine out of the way. I've got it on my glider board there. So I can just quickly and easily move that. Uh, and now I've got one of um, the extra large trays from the mixture, um, and that's how I'm going to pipe it on. So you can kind of create your own circles if you want to. Um, otherwise, you can just kind of freehand it, which I'm going to. So I've got, again, our disposable uh, piping bags from the mixture up to. And then I just use um, pre thermomix we had a Nutribullet and we got rid of that when we kind of got rid of all of our excess appliances. Um, but I kept the large, um, the large, whatever you call it, cup, because it's so good for holding the piping bag. It's, so, it's a bit taller than all my glasses. Um, so I literally just kept it just for the piping bag. So um, pop it in your mixing, in your, piping bag, give it a twist at the top. Um, I've popped a nozzle on this, but obviously, you know, if you don't have one, you can just, um, even if you don't have piping bags, you just use a, like a glide bag or something and just cut the tip off it. It's really, um, you know, you kind of don't need to be fancy with that. So all we're going to do, I'll just make sure it's in the spot where you can see, is pipe a little bit of a circle in the middle, and then we're going to go around it a couple of times to build it up higher. Just like that. Can you see that? So a bit of a circle in the middle and then around the outside until you're happy with the size and the height of it. Again, one in the middle. So you could just spoon it out and kind of flatten the middle bit if you want, but these um, they turn out really nice when you do it like this. So um, I'm not going to pipe them all out for you, um, but you kind of get the gist of that. So then you'd pop them into the oven. Um, decrease your oven to 120 degrees and then about 50 minutes in there. Your other really important thing when you're making pav is to leave it in the oven at night. So this time of night is a perfect, you want it to get cool completely in the oven. So nice and slowly cooling down. So when your time's up, you just open the door a little bit. Um, I just stick a kind of a wooden spoon in the side of the door 
um, and then come in the morning and they are perfect. So I'll finish piping them off screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a quick very coolie as well to go in our grazing paddock. So I'll just bring my thermomix back and grab our spare bowl. So again, couldn't live without a second bowl. I'd love to know who's on here tonight that has taken advantage of our second bowl deal already. Uh, it's been running for a little while now. I know we're nearly at the end, but I know quite a few of you have um, picked up your Thermomix um, while the deal's running, which is very exciting. Um, so from here, like I said earlier, I'm not going to make that the um, mango and kiwi um, curd that goes with this one. So I'm just going to use the three little dots next to the next button and cancel recipe. Confirm that. Then go into my week once more. And now we're going to do a fruit sauce or coolie. So it's really quick and easy one, this one. Um, and again, so it's pretty much all hands free, which is perfect. So into there, we're going to put 250 grams of a fresh fruit. So you could use um, uh, mangoes, pretty much anything really. I'm just using kind of mixed berries. And then 75 grams of caster sugar. So your other one with this is you can completely, obviously, like Chelsea said, guided cooking. So if you want to cut your sugar back in this, feel free to, especially, you know, this time of year as our fruit comes into season and it's so beautiful and sweet, you can you could leave the sugar out completely if you wanted to. Uh, and then 15 grams of lemon juice. Next, and that's it. We're going to pop the lid back on there. Next, it once more. Uh, now we've got 30 seconds at speed, or we're going to speed five and then increasing it gradually to speed 10. So Zoom will mute me out here, but I'll be back in 30 seconds. <laughs> Once more, show you how we've pureed that down. Oh, sorry, the lighting's terrible now. Can't really see it's because it's so the sauce is the fruit so dark. Um, pureed that down there. I've lost my earbud. So now we're just going to scrape down the side. Just pushing all of that back down to the base. What flavours of coolies would you guys do if you were making your own pad board? Was, is berry something you would do, do you think? Or maybe a mango? I'm loving the mangoes coming into season now. We just didn't have quite enough to, um, the kids are loving them too, so we didn't have enough to make the coolie out of it tonight. Next, we're going to pop the lid back on and now we're going to cook it. So five minutes, 90 degrees and speed two. And I'll see you when that's done. We're going to go over to Vic now. I will just spotlight her. Two seconds. Thanks, Kirst. I think that worked. Hi, everyone. My name is Victoria. Um, I am based in Gippsland, Tarelgan. Um, I am a, I've been a consultant for a year and recently became a team leader in the last few months. So I have my own little team um, that I am enjoying guiding along. Um, I have been, um, yeah, like I said, a consultant for a year now. I did come on the EARN program, um, but it was with EARN 6. Um, so I earned my Thermomix. It was my second one. I previously had a TM5 and wanted to upgrade, and I thought I would give myself a bit of a challenge. Um, I was only sticking around for 60 days, and I absolutely loved it, and here a year later. Um, so, yeah, it is a pretty amazing side gig. So if anyone is considering it, Earn4 at the moment is amazing to do it only in four sales. So tonight I'm just doing a really quick dish. 
well, a drink, I guess, um, something that you could have at a barbecue or something, you know, summery. Um, over Christmas time, I'm just going to make some pink lemonade. Uh, so I'll get started on that. It does make around a litre of it. Um, so it makes quite a bit. Press start cooking. So it does have some alternatives. You can use all different sorts of fruits if you want to. Um, I didn't have uh, the recipe asked for raspberry. I didn't have enough raspberries, but it did say in the tips that I could use strawberries. So I'm doing a bit of half half. So first up, it is asking for two lemons unpeeled and halved. I'll chuck those in. I would love to know if you've tried this recipe before. It is on Cookie Do, um, or if you've made something similar. It's asking for 100 grams of raspberries and strawberries. I'm putting a little bit extra in. I don't think it really matters. And it's wanting 100 grams of sugar, caster sugar. You could probably cut this down as well. Like Erin said, the fruit is coming into season, so it is nice and sweet. So you could cut it down if you wanted to. 150 grams of water. And then popping our lid on, it's actually asking us to hold um, the measuring cup down, probably because the lemon is so chunky, it might flick it off. Um, now it's going to go to speed 10 for four seconds. It might be a little bit loud, so it might cut me out. I guess it depends on how big your lemons are. I'll just double check it because mine was quite big. Oh no, that looks fine. So it was only four seconds, but it has chopped all that up for me. It does actually say leave for 20 minutes to steep. Um, but obviously for the sake of our Zoom, we don't want to wait 20 minutes. So I'm just going to skip that part. Um, now, after that, it asks to put 100 to 800 grams of cold water, still or sparkling to taste. So just going to put sparkling in there. Try not to make a mess. Oh, there we go, 806. Close enough. Um, just going to scrape down the side so we get all of that fruit. So another alternative is, you know, you could also pop some alcohol in it if you wanted to make it more like a cocktail. Um, you could use your second bowl to crush some ice into it as well to make it more like a, you know, a slushy sort of one. Pop, yeah, pop your vodka in there, tequila, whatever it is that you like. We're going to pop our simmering bar aside. So this is another great um tip that you can pop it in there and it's going to catch all you know if there's any seeds from the lemons and things like that it's going to catch it in there uh, insert simmering basket hold in place and strain lemonade into a large jug so i'll do that trying not to make any mess not sure if you can i'll pop it down a little bit see my jug oh. I was worried because I wasn't oh, steeping it for 20 minutes. It wouldn't be so pink, but it looks amazing. Oh, I'm making a big mess. I won't do all of it. So there we go. We've got some pink lemonade and it just says to um, add ice, like pop ice cubes in with it. I have popped a little strawberry. I've got some little lemon wedges some ice I've actually kept my ice cold which is another great thing for barbecues in my thermo server so it keeps it cold for hours so you could just fill that up and then everyone could come along and make up their mixed drinks and keep um your ice cold in there um so yeah that's one of the host floors so if you've got two people along tonight you could get a thermo server pop that in the glass oh it smells amazing too simple as that and then you can just pop your shot of whatever it is that you like in there. And that's your pink lemonade. It does look nice and refreshing, doesn't it, Shells? That's it, guys. Really quick and simple. Um, so, yeah. So if you're thinking about earning a thermo mix, definitely jump on. It is amazing. And at the moment, we do have 36 months interest-free for the next 12 days as well. Um, so it makes it super affordable. I think we're going to cross back over to Kirsty now. Thanks, Kirst. Hey guys, so um, I have read the recipe wrong. Um, 
just kind of preempted what I was doing. So what I actually did um, after I switched over or after we crossed back over to Erin, I think it was, um, I popped my, um, my quinoa back into the bowl and my simmering basket on top. Um, I've got three kids. I've got a newborn baby and my brain um, doesn't comprehend things sometimes. So, yeah, the quinoa Kim, Kim is cooking in here and that, yeah, uh, semi basket is up on top. It's only got a minute to go, so I'm happy um, to complete that and continue on with the rest of the recipe. So it's just cooling down before I can press next. Has anyone made this recipe before? <laughs> Mum laughed, Chelsea said, yes, definitely. Um, Lottie is quite sick at the moment too, whether it's teething or, or something else. So um, we're surviving on, I think my watch told me about four hours of sleep. So very fuzzy. And just going over to next, it's saying transfer cooked quinoa to a large salad bowl draining first if necessary. So I'm just going to use one of, um, I've got my black thermal server. Pop that there and I'm just going to drain. We don't actually need to drain it. It's all um, been cooked nicely. So just using my spatula to pop that into our thermal server. Who's got a thermal server at home? Let me know. There's so many um, nightmate. Sorry, my eldest is going to bed. Um, so many different purposes of um, your thermal server. You know, even for things as simple as, as much as I don't want to promote it, but cooking two minute noodles. Two minute noodles, pasta, like all sorts of things, even hot dogs. Um, we go away quite a lot um, up to our van. And um, yeah, even just chucking some boiling hot water in there and chucking some hot dogs in there, it's really, really handy. But also, you know, um, if you have sports or anything like that, we have sports um, twice a week and like to pre-cook dinner. So, you know, I'd cook dinner at about 2.30, 3 o'clock and to pop that into um, the thermal server is amazing because then by the time we get home, still warm, ready to go, um, no stress. So I pop that into um, the bowl. And saying stir with spatula, we've already done that. Rinse mixing bowl. I'm not going to rinse the bowl. I'm going to grab my second bowl and pop that on. And we're going to make the rest of our salad. So two apples peeled, cored, quartered, quartered. <laughs> yeah. I can speak really good English. Um, 100 grams of walnuts cut in halves. I've just literally got the dregs left in the bottom. Um, so I'm just going to chuck them in. Playing it grams. I did, when I was playing around with this recipe earlier, notice that um, if you were to add this recipe from your, on a, um, on a desktop, um, you can actually scale the recipe too, which is awesome. You can't do the scaling from your machine, but you can scale the recipe from um, your cookie do on your, you know, desktop or something like that. So I thought that was really cool um, to be able to introduce the serves, you know, cut it down to two or increase it. I think at the moment it's sitting at eight serves. We're just going to chop these ingredients up. So we've got our timing pre-selected here, one second um, around to speed five. And it's saying to transfer to a bowl and set aside. So it's got, it, you can see there, it's not quite chopped. So I'm just going to do it again. Just remember that it's guided cooking. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to chuck that in with our quinoa. You see there, it's much more finer. Yeah, so again, just remembering if it's not to your liking, change it how you see fit. Especially if you're doing um, like a manual, like chopped salad or something like that. Always start with less. Less, less is more in this case. Um, you don't want to, especially when it comes to like a chopped salad, um, you want to start with the least amount of time as possible and then like increase it in small increments because there's nothing more than like a chopped salad soup. Nobody wants to eat that. So I've just got another bowl again, um, the joys of having multiple bowls. I have four. So 
clean and dry mixing bowl. I'm not going to do that. I've got, it's asking for two garlic cloves. I've got two really large garlic cloves. I probably would have popped four in if it was asking for just two, but the garlic head that I got the other day, um, it was huge. Two garlic heads, like a really big, really big clove too. Speaking my love language. I'm waiting for the bowl to release. And we're just gonna scrape down the sides. Got our garlic there and I'm just scraping down the sides with my spatula. The beauty of, um, you know, chopping garlic and onion never gets old for me. That one hand would have taken me, couldn't even tell you how much time. Um, 80 grams of extra virgin olive oil. I have reduced that by half. 60 grams of um, apple cider vinegar. It's asking for cider vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar. 60 grams. Next, and um, two tablespoons of honey. You could um, substitute and use like, um, you know, like stevia sweeteners and things like that, the syrup one. Just giving them two little squirts there. Some Dijon mustard. What are salads that you're likely to take to a barbecue? What's, what's your go-to? Is this something you can see yourself taking to a barbecue? Um, a little bit of salt, um, some pepper. We're just gonna pop that lid back on with our measuring cup in, and we're just gonna combine all those ingredients around 10 seconds on to speed five. But yeah, I love, love the quick chopped salad. Me too. And um, the Captain Belinda Sweetman Chuck Black salad because I'm lazy. There's nothing lazy about it. It's all about convenience. And it's healthy too. So great. So that is our dressing done there. Now it's asking for kale. At our local IGA, um, we didn't have kale, so I'm just going to use spinach. Same, same, but different. Texture may be a little bit different. I'll probably reduce um, the chopping time just a little bit. Um, but just be remember, like, experimenting is fun. Um, don't all, always feel like you need to stick to a guided recipe. Uh, so I'm just going to chop it all in. I'm going to pop the lid on. It's got five seconds there, so I'm just going to reduce that time down to two and around to speed four. Well, Nicole said, love a herby pearl couscous salad. I haven't made that one. That's definitely something that I need to try. Bron's got here broccoli, red pepper, pine nut salad. That's definitely one of my go-tos. I add apple in that too. Um, super yummy. So it's saying use times to transfer kale to bowl with quinoa. So you can see there that it's chopped my um, spinach up enough. If I had it on the full five seconds, it literally would have been soup. So I'm gonna pop that into, oops, into our bowl. Oh, it's asking for a second though. Um, so using my spatula just to spoon that in, scraping down the sides, getting all of that delicious dressing off the sides, all that garlic. And we're just going to weigh into the bowl on the lid um, some goat cheese and, and some cranberries, but I am just quite confident to do that by hand. I've got some cranberries here that I'm going to sprinkle over the top to mix through. And then over here, I've got, which I had pre weighed I've just got some, I didn't have any fresh fruit, beetroot. I um, just had some cans, so that's fine. Again, substituting using what you've got. So I've just chopped that into quarters. Just going to pop that in there. And then I'm going to give that, we'll see, yeah. I'm just going to give that a bit of a stir. 
and then the magic ingredient, which is our goat's cheese. I am going to crumble that over the top. You could add some like pine nuts or something like that on top too here, just to dress it a little bit, but it really doesn't. It's actually really um, pretty salad too. It smells amazing. Oh, I've got my Meredith dairy over here. I'm only just going to do one little cube to sprinkle over for the purpose of tonight's virtual. Um, and then I will do as we serve. This will be like lunches, like over the weekend and the week. So, wash my fingers. That's our delicious, quick and easy salad. Perfect to take to your barbecue. Um, you know, super healthy and delicious. The dressing smells amazing. Is that something that everybody can see themselves making? Is it not something you've made before? Um, yeah, definitely quick and easy. The black thermal server too um, is available as um, our host reward at the moment, our like, bonus host reward. So please reach out to your consultant or to one of us if you don't have a consultant um, to book in your demo to get your hands on one of these, either at a discounted price or um, completely free if someone at your demo purchases. Everybody needs a thermal server and everybody needs a black thermal server. They're very pretty to be taking um, to all these festive barbecues that we have going on. And that's me done. That's okay. Um, all right, guys, so my berry cooler is all done. I'll show you that. It smells so good. Hopefully I can show you without. Oh, there's some on the bench. <laughs> I was going to say without tipping it all out, but now I've done an awesome job of that. Let me just grab a cloth. Um, oh, my gosh, I've made a huge mess. Um, so now I'm just going to quickly whip up some cream um, to go with it. I love whipping cream in the Thermomix. It's so much quicker than um, anything I've done before, like the mixer or anything. It's super, super quick. So I'm just going to grab another bowl. Um, I've been lucky enough in my two years as a consultant to earn now two Thermomix. So I like Vic Join to upgrade from my TM5. Um, in Earn4 last time it was offered, actually. Um, so I, um, yeah, joined and earned mine with four sales. Um, and then I've earned another one since, which is pretty amazing and extra bowls. So um, it really is such a great opportunity joining the team to yeah, earn your initial one, or even if you have a Thermomix already, um, joining up to earn a second one or a second one down the track too, which is um, great. So there's a whipped cream um, recipe on Cookadoo. If you're not feeling confident, you can just do it yourself, you know, turn the speed collector up to four. Um, but if you're not feeling confident and just want that extra little bit of guidance, you can use the whipped cream recipe. Just telling us to pop our butterfly in next. And now we're going to put in however much cream you want. So literally, I'm just going to put in after that. Next, I like to just add a little bit of vanilla to my cream, just personal preference. So I'm just going to add that in there too. And now it's just telling us to turn the speed selector up to three. Um, and meanwhile, follow the following steps. So you'll notice, um, I don't know, hopefully you can see clearly that there's actually no time set for this recipe. Um, so the following step says, watch carefully through the hole in the mixing bowl lid to avoid over -whipping. So it can take a really variable amount of time to whip your cream. It really just depends on um, how fresh your cream is, the type of cream, that kind of thing. So this cream is actually quite close to its use by date, so it won't take very long at all. So, yeah, just really make sure you are pressing on it. Otherwise, you'll just um, make butter instead, which I guess is so bad, but not really great for your tub. Just going to grab our grazing box while that is missing there. Not sure, you probably can't hear it, um, but you can, when you are um, making cream, that kind of thing, you can hear the changes in consistency that give you that kind of little hint that you're getting closer to where you want to be. So while that's whipping away, I'll show you these tabs. So these are the ones I made last night. Because like I said, they have to cool to room temperature um, slowly. So you leave them in there. Once they're finished cooking, you might be able to see them. Other ones are in the oven now. Um, leave them in, just hit the drawer jar and just leave them overnight. And then they'll be right to go in the morning. So there are my cute little couple over nests um, that I made last night. So I've, I'm using the um, 
grazing box, the large grazing box from the mix shop. I absolutely love this. It's so good for so many things. Um, so if you haven't got one, grab one. Um, there's another, a new size too now, which is the small, smaller one, which I picked up in which I'm pretty excited about. It's actually not coming at the same time. So yeah, I've just loaded up my mix, my um, grazing box with all of those little meringues. We popped a couple of little bowls in there that we're going to put our berry coolie in and then just loaded the other side up with some fresh fruit so everybody can just choose what they want. That's getting close now, so I'm just going to get a closer on it. I find that sometimes I have to stop it a couple of times because it looks different while it's ripping to what it does when you press start. Yeah, perfect. So that was just a smidge under two minutes for our whipped cream there. And you can see that's perfect there. So all I'm going to do is pop our cream. I'm just going to go back to skin. There it's out of the way again. Like I said, the glider board makes it super easy to move out of the way. So just popping our cream in one of our little containers. Um, you can also make, well, I mean, you can make anything to go with these. Like a lemon curd would be nice as well. Um, I think last time I made these, I made like a chocolate dipping sauce or a chocolate sauce too that was um, on Cookadoo. And that was amazing too. But I think it's just a cream and a cool fruit coolie is perfect as well. So there we go, guys. So that's our Pav grazing box with our berry coolie and our whipped cream. That looks incredible. I popped in the comments that I would like to come to a barbecue with you. Thank you, Erin. Um, <laughs> I'll just show you the lid of the uh, grazing box quickly too because I think it is so awesome. Um, so it's got a little clear facet lid. So it really is such a beautiful little um, a way to take a nice anything really I've got scrolls in there all kinds of things you can take them to somebody's house which is perfect sorry keep going that, that looks amazing now Maria had a good question and she'd like to know could you make the pav mixture and leave it in the fridge until you wanted to bake them oh I'm not sure Maria I wouldn't think so because I feel like it would lose a little bit of its aeration I'd probably I did them relatively quickly I did think that too but I wasn't yeah. so yeah great fabulous thank you Erin they look great All right, so back over to me. So we have cooked our chicken. Now, if you didn't know this little trick, it's a great one. Flip your aroma lid upside down and use it as a, a tray to catch any liquid that comes off your um, aroma. So we have cooked our eggs perfectly. I have just roughed them up. Look how great they look. Chicken's done. So it does say cut chicken into bite-sized pieces and transfer it into bowls. So what I like to do, I'm all about whatever makes my life easier. So you can actually pop your chicken back into your thermo and then hit your little house button to so exiting your recipe. Now, clicking on your speed dial. Now, we want to hit the reverse button. This is the most important part. So reverse, if you don't know on your TM6, is that little picture here of your blades. We want to click it. It'll say reverse enabled and it turns green. So we're good to go. And I want to go around to speed four. Now, I haven't put a time on it. I'm just going to watch it. Three seconds is pretty good. Um, like Kirsty was saying, it's really important to go less because it's very easy to blitz your chicken. I had a random bit of pasta in there. But we have shredded that chicken there. So instead of cutting it up, you can just pop it in, reverse speed four for about three seconds. Check it. You can always go longer if you need, but less is more. That two to three seconds is perfect, and that just pulls that apart perfectly. Shredded chicken is great for lunches, salads. Um, it's a much cheaper alternative to buying ham or deli meats as well, and much healthier for you too. So lots of benefits to that. So set eggs aside to cool, then peel and cut into quarters. Place on a frying pan over medium heat. Add 200 grams of bacon and fry until crispy, which I have done earlier. Transfer it onto a plate with paper towel. Now it sits, add one to two spring onions, shallot or shallots, cut into pieces, eight to 12 will cost lettuce leaves, cut into pieces, preserved bacon, chicken Caesar salad dressing to pasture mixture and toss to combine. So here, our thick pasta, look at that. 
absolutely perfect. I've got our chicken. I don't put the shallots in. I just don't think it needs it. Got my lettuce. And I've just used um, regular lettuce, iceberg lettuce, sorry, not cost, because that's what I had. Got my bacon. And then beautiful dressing that we made earlier. Look at that. So thick and creamy. It's such a great amount as well, this dish. Um, and you can definitely add extra chicken if you need to. If you wanted to bulk it up even more, it could add extra lettuce, extra eggs, whatever it is, to make it go that little bit further. But this feeds kind of that six, six people as a meal very easily. So it's perfect to take to a barbecue because it is going to make a lot if you've got, you know, an event on where you've got lots of people going. Make so much my bowl's not quite big enough. So stirring it's a bit awkward. Around with my tongs instead. There we go. There is like a deli macaroni salad on Cookie Dew as well that's really great, but I thought this one was a little bit more versatile. You wanted to leave that chicken out, you could. You wanted to leave the lettuce out, you could. You know, we keep telling you guys tonight that it is guided cooking, it is not set in stone. So you can definitely make any changes to these recipes to suit you and your family. Right, so I have combined it nicely. And it says top with quartered eggs and garnish with shaved parmesan to serve. So I've got a slightly nicer serving bowl. If you've watched me cook before, you'd know plating up food is not my forte. I'm not like Erin, I can't make things look pretty, but they taste great. And that is the most important thing, I believe, anyway. Enough for now. Now we could um, shave some more parmesan on top of that and then add our beautiful eggs. These are such a great colour because they're home laid. Such a difference. And there we have a beautiful chicken Caesar pasta salad. How does that look, guys? Do you think that's something that you'd like to make to take somewhere? Or do you think that's something that you'd like to add to your at home rotation? This is always a big win for me because the kids eat it, no complaints every time. Uh, so that's always something that I love in my household. But there we go. Really quick, really easy, utilises that layered cooking so you can get lots in there and all hands-free so you can just walk away and leave it. So definitely add that one to the list if you haven't already. Now, I think that might be all of us. Um, everyone's played up. We might just quickly go back through and we will have one last look at what everyone's made. Oh, are we on me? So I've got the pink lemonade there already and I've popped a little bit of gin in there as well and it is absolutely delicious. Amazing, Vic. That looks so good. Thank you. We will cut over to Kirsty. We've got our tomato salad looking amazing. I probably will cut up a little bit more beetroot. I was a little bit stingy. I'll add a bit more there in there. Um, and definitely when serving up, we'll be adding more goat cheese. Um, but tastes amazing and smells incredible. So good. Super easy to make. That one looks so beautiful too. Thank you, Kirsty. Sorry, I've just got to find Erin. Where are you? I'm here. All right. So, yeah, like I said before, this is our pub grazing box with our berry coolie and our whipped cream. Super. Oh. Uh, so much easier than what you think, I reckon. Um, pub can be a little bit scary, I think, to start with, but super, super easy with your family. And your second bowl, of course. <laughs> Amazing, Erin. Thank you. That was brilliant. No worries. Uh, then of course we have our beautiful chicken these are pasta salad and that is us done for tonight so if you would like to stick around for our business information session as i said it is obligation free if you'd like to find out a little bit more about the possibility of joining up to earn a thermomix or a second thermomix 
or if you would like to find out more about coming on as an owner, that is definitely an option as well. Please stick around and we'll get that started in about five minutes. If you need to go to the bathroom or grab a drink or anything, that's fine. Um, huge thank you to the girls that cooked with me tonight. Please make sure you are following them on Instagram. Kirsty is the Naked Mixer. Erin is Thermo Mixing Mum. Um, I don't think that's right. Thermo Loving Mum. I'm sorry. Thermo Loving Mum is Erin. <laughs> And Vic is the everyday thermo. So please follow the girls. Shoot you many messages if you have any questions. We love hearing from you guys and are always here to help you. Please stay tuned for our next cooking classes and please feel free to shoot us some suggestions on what you'd like to see at our next class. Um, if you have any questions about a Thermomix with a $29 bowl, please let us know as well. And of course, that amazing 36 months interest free. So thank you again, everybody. And we will see you very soon for our next class. Thanks, everyone. That everyone, can I get rid of them all? Yeah, great, fabulous. There we go. Well done, guys. We run on time. So on, I love it. It is eight forty nine, um, and we are on time, which is amazing. Um, I've just popped them in the waiting room. I will see if any of them are sticking around. Is that Rebecca Pace? Is that um? I feel like that's that girl. What's her name? No. It's not, is it? No. No, no, no. That was no, Becky Blanco or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are Thank we taking girls? a photo? Yeah, we'll take a photo. All right. Not with me. Um, yeah. Come on. We've got we've got extras. Do you, I'm gonna stick you guys in the waiting room for a minute, all right? Oh, my camera's off. I was like, why can't you see me? Where's your salad? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to get rid of your other cameras, but I can't. Do you want oh. to make exit your other cameras? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Oh, my audio is connected. So I'm there. Uh. Yeah. Okay. All right, ready? Say cheese. Cheese. I take one more just in case someone has their eyes closed. All right, fabulous. Good job, everyone. I think that was really well. Well done. We Good still job. have Rebecca Pace and Jessica Boys and Gwyneth in the waiting room. So I'll let them back in and we'll see what happens. You guys are welcome to jump off. You don't have to stick around. If you would like to, that's fine too. Um, but thank you again. I'll go through the registration tomorrow and see if we had any non-owners or anyone and let you guys know. Thanks, Charles. Thanks. 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 All right, Jess, Rebecca, and Gwyneth, if you guys are sticking around for the business info session, I'd love if you could pop your camera on just so I can see that you are there. Or let, let me know in the chat if you are sticking around for the business session. So either just pop your camera on and let me know or put it in the chat and let me know if you're sticking around for the business info session.
We need some music in the waiting room. Yeah, I know. Hey, Jess, thanks for that. Video won't work. That's fine, Jess. No worries at all. Um, Jess, I'd love to know, um, do you currently have a thermomix? If you have a T6 or let us know. Yeah, TM6, awesome. And are you interested in earning yourself a second Thermomix or are you interested in coming along as an owner and finding out more about um, already owning your Thermomix and joining? Awesome. Fabulous. No worries at all. I don't have room for a second at the moment. Okay. That is fine. All good. Um, perfect. We are going to get started. We were expecting to, um, another one or two to jump on, but they haven't got on yet, which is fine. So we will just get straight into it. Um, so I'm going to share my screen with you. Well, I have left my glasses inside, so I'm going to be squinting away at the screen. All right. So welcome to our business information session. So thank you, ladies, for sticking around. Um, I am excited just to give you a little bit of information about what is um, what entails coming on board and joining um, our Thermomix team. So working from home on your own terms. Actually, I'm just going to hit the stop recording button. Okay, so working from home on your terms. So pre-COVID, we ran our Thermomix businesses quite differently. We did absolutely everything uh, in person. We did in-person cooking experiences. We delivered Thermomixes in person. We did cooking classes in person. And then COVID hit and turned our business on its head. And now we have the amazing ability to run our businesses in whatever way that works for us and our potential customers. So we can run our businesses in person, we can run them virtually, or we can actually run a hybrid business, which is where you um, do a little bit of both. And that is totally fine as well. We really want to work with you to ensure that you are doing it in a way that works for you which is great. We have a couple of things at Thermomix that we are really proud of. And one of them is our support and development. So our, it's very much not, you know, go and work out how to sell a Thermomix. We give you all the tools that you need and all the training to ensure that you feel comfortable and confident to get out there and share the love of the Thermomix and get some sales. We also offer um, opportunities for development throughout your Thermomix business. So we run training sessions most weeks, which you are welcome to join in on and learn a little bit more as well. We have some incredible rewards, incentives and income. Thermomix are a very generous company, which you will see a little bit of shortly and we will dive into that. As I said at the start of the night, you may have heard, I was planning on leaving after my 60 days, but I'll tell you what, the incentives are part of the reason that I stayed. I'm a suck up for a freebie. Uh, and then we have our community. So we have a pretty amazing community here at Thermomix. And it may not be something that you think of when you think about joining our team, but it is true. Some of my favorite people I have met through Thermomix and I'm very thankful for that. So what does it look like? Just to give you a little bit of an idea, we have our new consultant onboarding program. So this one is made up of a few different things. So we have our online training modules, which you do at your own pace. So you work through them as you can. Now we have some people that get it done in a weekend. We have other people that spend a week or two on it, and that is totally fine. Then we have a couple of facilitated workshops with one of our business development managers, and they are two one-hour sessions that are live, and it just works you through, you know, how are you going, how are your bookings, what do you need, here's some language, that kind of stuff. Then we have our practical training, which will be conducted with your new team leader and myself. We do run those together, and that is where we train you on how to actually run a cooking experience, how to ask the right questions, how to get people wanting a Thermomix on their bench. Then you have the opportunity for a business launch, which is where you can buddy up with your new team leader or fellow consultant to do a cooking experience and do it as a bit of a learning opportunity as well. Now, do we have any questions about any of that um, training? Please pop them in the chat or come off mute and let me know if you have any questions at all. 
So we do say that our onboarding takes around 15 hours. And again, you can do that at your own pace. So you can spend up to 30 days getting that training done. So 30 days, um, you may want to spend doing it or, you know, you may want to get it done in a week. And again, that is totally fine with us. Just pop it in the chat. As I said, come off mute if you do have any questions and I will answer them, but I will keep on moving. So whether you come on wanting to earn a Thermomix or another Thermomix, or whether you come on as an owner, you will need to purchase one of our business kits. So our business kit is $125 and it is about $360 in value. And you can see there you get yourself a travel bag, uh, a flip chart and some folders, brochures, bits and pieces that you'll need in your business. Then you also get yourself a thermo server and a bread mat. Uh, now, as an owner, Jess, you may already have a thermo server and a bread mat, but these are things that you can never have too many of, which is great. You can use them at home or you can use them in your new business, whatever works for you. So if you did decide that you did want to earn another Thermomix, you know, you may be able to find some room for it in the kitchen. It is definitely an option, but coming on as an owner is also a great option as well. So it really depends on what you're comfortable with and what works for you. So we do have our incredible Earn 4 offer, which is ending tomorrow at 6 p.m. We don't like to rush you ever. We don't like to put pressure on you. But if you were thinking about earning with the Earn 4, we would need to get, kind of get that ball rolling tomorrow. But again, no pressure. Um, if you were thinking about coming on as an owner, we wouldn't kind of have that, that pressure to get that done because we're not on a time frame there. So if you did decide that you did want to earn another Thermomix and you did want to earn it with four sales, how that would work is you would pop down an $840 deposit. And then we work on getting those four sales in your first two months. So what we call your 60 day program. Now, just so you know, your 60 days start once you have finished all of that training. So it does not start until you finish that training. So you get that 30 days to get started and get set up and then 60 days to get out there and do your cooking experiences and get those sales. So four sales in that 60 days is going to get you that $840 deposit refunded. And that Thermomix is absolutely yours to keep and you have outlaid nothing for it, which is amazing. So it is normally six sales and earning in six sales is still a great deal, but obviously earning in four is just that little bit more amazing, which is great. So please let me know, guys, if you have any questions about earn earning in four, earning in six, any of those things. I'll just repeat that one more time. $840 deposit, training done um, after up to 30 days. And then in that first two months or your 60 days, four sales, $840 deposit is refunded and that Thermomix is absolutely yours. Yes, so great question, Jess. So you do actually get it in commission if you join as an owner. So instead of earning a Thermomix, you will get paid commission from your first sale in your 60 days. So we'll go through our commission structure in just a moment, but absolutely. So you will earn commission from your first sale. On to some of those great rewards and incentives that we have on offer. So whether you come on as an owner or to earn another Thermomix, that doesn't matter, you will be entitled to some great rewards. So with three sales in those first two months in your 60-day program, you will get yourself a $125 mix shop gift voucher. That's essentially there to offset the cost of your business kit and a chance for you to splash out at the mix shop and buy some fun bits and pieces to use in your business or to use at home. If you were doing the EARN program, four sales would get you your Thermomix covered and then six sales will get you a second bowl set. So six sales in that 60-day program will get you a second bowl, which is valued at $375 and that is absolutely yours. So $125 gift voucher with three sales and a second bowl set with six sales. Do you currently have a second bowl, Jess? Let me know. So I did say, yes, you do. Awesome. Great. So you'll know how good it is. So yeah, third bowl, we, we all generally have three bowls in our kitchen. I love having three bowls. Um, but the great thing about these rewards are they are yours. So if you did decide, I already have a second bowl, I don't have room for another one, you are able to gift it or on sell it, whatever it may be. 
All right, so after your 60 days, we have some more rewards and incentives, which is great. So in the next two months, so months three and four, you'll get a chance to pick up this brilliant consultant kit, which is made up of some rose gold bakeware, a thermo server, and a bread mat. Now that is six sales over those next two months, so months three and four, and you'll bag that consultant kit. Now that one is valued at about $400, which is brilliant. Then even more, I did say they are very generous and it does keep on coming. So my favourite, and here is a chance for you to earn yourself another Thermomix if you did decide not to do the earn program. So um, another TM6 is amazing, especially when it is absolutely free. So months five, six, seven, and eight in your business, you could when you close four sales a month or 16 sales over the four months and inspire one person to come on board and do what we do, you will actually earn yourself another Thermomix totally free. Now, the best thing about this one is that you would be earning commission at the same time. So it is 100% free, which is amazing. Now, the average consultant around Australia does do three sales a month. So it is just that slight push to get those four sales a month for those four months. Now, what is the expectation? So just to give you a little bit of an idea, at the end of the day, you are starting a business. So we do have a few minimums. So we work on a minimum of three sales through your 60 days. So through those first two months, we work with you to ensure that you get three sales in your 60 days and essentially makes you like a qualified consultant. And then we work on one sale a month as an ongoing. That just shows us that you are working your business and that this is something that you want to be doing and continue. Again, please let me know if you have any questions at any time, just pop them in the chat and I'll answer them for you. So onto our income. Now, if you were going to come on as an owner, you would have the chance to start earning income from your first sale. If you were going to do the earn program, you would earn them after either the first four or the first six, depending on when you joined. So we have five different streams of income in our Thermomix business. And our first is our commission. So you do get paid on every sale, except those first few in your earned program. Um, and that is a constant. So we will go through that in a moment. Then we have our 360 thank you bonus. So if you inspire someone to come along and join our team, you will be entitled to a $360 thank you bonus when they complete their first three sales in their 60 days. Now, just so you know, we are not multi-level marketing and we are not pyramid selling. We do not make money off other people's sales. This is just a one-time thank you payment from Thermomix to you um, for inspiring someone to come along and do what we do. Then we have our amazing rewards and incentives. So we have been talking quite a lot about those different rewards and incentives that you can earn along the way, but we do also have monthly incentives. So in December, we have the chance to earn a year of cookie do paid for, the amazing new Thermomix cutter that is coming out in the new year, and also a cobalt window vacuum, which is amazing at cleaning your windows. So all of those things are available and up for grabs with one, two, or six sales in December, which is amazing. Now, those incentives change every month. We earn mix shop items, we earn vouchers, we earn, um, we earn wine once upon a time, um, we've earned the Ivana pizza ovens, like you name it, we have earned it, which is great. We do also have um, a trip, a holiday uh, kind of thing, a conference that we can earn a spot at. And quite a few of us that you see on tonight did earn a spot at Uluru just a couple of months ago. So it was a four day, all expenses paid trip and it was absolutely incredible. So that will be back next year with a new location and everyone will get a chance to earn a spot there, which is awesome. Then we have our mix shop. So as an owner, you may have been on our mix shop already. So just to give you an idea, our mix shop actually turns over about $1.5 million a month in revenue, which is pretty crazy. And as a Thermomix consultant, when your friends, family, and customers choose your name at checkout, you will be entitled to 15% of what they've purchased. So 15% of that $1.5 million each month is essentially handed out to consultants, which is really great as well. Now, if you decided that you absolutely loved this business and you wanted to make it more, we definitely have the opportunity for a team leader in the future. And upon building your own team, you would earn team leader commissions as well, which is great. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of the commission or how it works. Please feel free to screenshot this page or we can send you a copy as well. But this is our commission structure. So just so you know, our commission works on a calendar month. So the more sales you close in one calendar month, the more commission that you will make. So with one sale, you will make $240 for that sale and for the month. 
If you were to do two sales, two Thermomixes in one month, you would see that number jump slightly and that would be $260 per Thermomix or $520 for the month. Now, three is our magic number. As I said, the average consultant does do three sales and you can see we get quite a big jump to $340 there. So that's per Thermomix, which takes you to $1,020 for the month. Four to five is 370 per Thermomix. Six to seven is 390 per Thermomix. And eight to nine is 400 per Thermomix. And 10 plus is 410 per Thermomix. So our commission does not stop at 10. You definitely get paid on every sale that you do after 10. Just to give you a bit of an idea, I was a consultant for three and a half years before becoming a business development manager. And my best month with Thermomix, I sold 24 Thermomixes in one month, which was pretty wild. But you can work out how much commission I would have got paid based on that structure. Now, it really is one of those businesses that you get out what you put in. If you want to plot along on that one sale a month, that's okay. And you'd be pocketing that $240. If you want to make it that little bit more, aim for that three sale, we'll definitely work with you to help ensure that you're getting that. Or if you really want to make this something great and earn quite a good income, we can definitely help you work towards those eight, nine, 10 sales a month, whatever it is that works for you. Now, again, please, sorry, I just got to get your nose. Please let me know if you have any questions at all about any of those things. All right, how do I get started? So we get asked a lot, how, how do I get my Thermomix business started? Everyone I know already has a Thermomix. I'm not a salesperson. I don't know anyone who's ready to buy. And all those things are totally fine. So the best way to get your Thermomix business started is by networking through your friends and your family. So say you've got some friends that already own a Thermomix, they're the perfect people to host a cooking experience for you. So they could host a cooking experience for you and invite along a couple of their friends that don't yet own a Thermomix. Their friends have probably heard them raving about it, so their friends are probably going to be quite happy to come along. And one of their friends may purchase a Thermomix, one of their friends may host their own cooking experience. And then at that next cooking experience, you're going to meet new people and one of them may purchase or one of them may host and then at that cooking experience, you're going to meet new people. So we can utilize our friends and family who already own a TM6, who own an older model, who don't yet own a Thermomix, that aren't quite sure if it's for them. That's totally fine. They're just doing it to help you out and introduce you to some new people. If you do know some people who are ready to buy, that's great. Totally fine. But is that that is not the be all and end all. And we can definitely help work with you to ensure that you've got some people ready to host for you. And we hear all the time, you know, I'm not a salesperson. I wouldn't be any good at that. But we're not. Yes, we sell Thermomixes, but it's not about being a salesperson. It's truly just about sharing the love of the Thermomix. And if you can share that with people, they will want to um, feel the same way about a Thermomix as you do. And the rest will kind of fall into place. We do have a couple of meetings at Thermomix and they are not compulsory. We have two a month, a team meeting and a branch meeting, both done on Zoom. But it is a great place for you to come, um, connect with some other people, learn, feel inspired, get some information, that kind of stuff. Now, a little while ago at one of our meetings, we did ask our field what it was that they got the most from their Thermomix business. Now, the way this program works, the more people that wrote the same word, the larger that word became. So you can see there the largest word is confidence. And I absolutely love seeing that the biggest thing people get from their Thermomix business is confidence. Because for a lot of us, we may be mums, we may be trying something new, stepping out of our comfort zone, whatever it may be. But seeing that people get confidence just makes me really happy. You can see some of the other things there are friends and friendship, which is a big one for me, knowledge, income, personal growth, lots of great things there. Now, that is the end of our, oh, Jess, I hope you were able to hear me. Sorry, I just saw your comment saying that it was cutting out a bit. I have been having some serious internet challenges this week, so I hope that that was okay. Um, so that is the end of our business info session. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I would love to answer them for you. I'll give you a sec just in case you are popping anything in the chat box. Um, but Belinda is here to help you out if you do have any questions um, after tonight. And Tracy, her fabulous team leader, is also here to help too. So please let us know now if there's anything that you did want to ask. I just saw you put the ABN question in there. Um, it's 15000 Belinda, off the top of my head. So Thermomix will let you know when you need to apply for an ABN when you are getting quite close to that threshold. They will let you know that you're there and that you do need to get one.
I should know that. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, no, they are great like that and they'll definitely let you know. Same thing if you got to the point where you started and you needed to claim GST, they're right on top of that and would let you know about that as well, which is great. I'll just give you a second, see if you wanted to ask anything else. It's just a little bug flying around my head. Hanging out. Awesome. Well, I'm not sure if you are typing, but if you are, keep typing and I will answer your questions. But otherwise, thank you so much for coming along to our business session tonight. Um, just worried about a few things, but I'll work through it. Okay, no worries. Please reach out to Belinda because she's definitely there to help you work through any of those things that you wanted to chat through. Um, she's a wealth of knowledge. And as I said, Tracy is as well. So they can definitely help you out every step of the way, give you the info that you need to make your decision. But thank you again for coming along tonight. Um, it was nice to meet you, kind of. Uh, and I hope to see you on one of our training sessions very soon, Jess. Thank you. See ya. That's awkward when they don't talk. <laughs> I'm like, is she still there? I don't know. Um, but yeah, did I feel I've missed some of that chat? Oh, does she have the black thermomix? Yeah, she does. Apparently I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> I was like, they wouldn't have known if you didn't make it known. Yeah, but I didn't yeah. told her to say, yeah, let the jaw in and then be like, oh, hold on, you need a white Thermomix. Yeah, look, she is, she is meant to have a white Thermomix. Unfortunately, we don't, we don't sell black Thermomixes. So um, it's such a hard one. It's really frustrating because I'm like, a Thermomix is a Thermomix. Why does it matter what colour the outside is? Like. We're not selling, you know, the skin of the Thermomix, we're selling what it can do. So you can just borrow my white one when she does a demo. There we go. Oh, she she um, was messaging me on Messenger as well, and she just said she really struggles with confidence. So I think that's why the video wasn't on. Can you turn yeah. it off, Blue Ash? So, yeah. And she has actually She's thought I've had chats with her. Were you, were you talking to her recently, Trace? Yeah, because in the. Um, survey from the registration the other day she had written more info on joining with a friend or something and because I had that naughty poster that my BDM said was okay um I didn't know if she meant that or host reward so I rang her and she's like yeah I just wanted to know more information about having a friend jump on the session or something and I said oh look I wasn't sure if you meant that or you meant joining the team with a friend um yeah but she's been like on and off for a while hasn't she yeah when she I've has for a long time been actually. thinking about yeah. it yeah um a lot so <laughs> yeah well you six keen I think she just you know like you said it might be a confidence thing or whatever it is but I would definitely just reach out to her you know tomorrow and and just try to chat through any hesitations that she does have um, obviously Tracy can help you with that, or I'm sure you'll be right, you know, just, just talking to her and just kind of hearing her out and seeing what it is that she's a bit unsure about. Um, just, you know, reminding her that we're here to support her every step of the way, you know, we offer all that training and that, um, you guys can definitely have their first few cooking experiences and whatever is that, whatever it is that she needs to, you know, build that confidence. I think she, uh, well, she was originally Hales's customer. But I think even back then, if I look her up, she was an EOI under Hale. So, like, ah, she has been she's thinking obviously about been it for a while. Yeah. yeah. But now she's adopted Belinda. Yeah. I wonder what it is that she needs to, you know, get off the fence. Mm. Like, obviously, been thinking about it for a while. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'll reach out to her yeah. tomorrow and have a chat and see what she thinks. And, I mean, she's got... Well, yeah, that's hard. So I've got to say she's got nothing to lose, but if she does have to start with a white, yeah, then she can lose, like, if she doesn't want a second one. Yeah. 
But if let's just pretend she had a white one, she's got absolutely nothing to lose. I mean, as we always say, that business kit's worth more than $125. And I know, like I said to her, you know, you guys would be amazing support. Like she wouldn't, yeah, she would have, can you stop distracting me? (laughs) Um, He's just doing this. Yeah, he's just been a little turd. He should be asleep. They've got no school tomorrow, so he's decided. Is it Ashy? Is it Ash there? or That's Ashton. (laughs) <laughs> cheeky bugger um but yeah I mean when I have a chat to her I'll let her know that you guys I know yeah. you'll support her 110 yeah. percent yeah and it was interesting tells listening to oh. that business information session about even if she signed up you've got the 30 days to do the training but there's yeah. no like there's no obligations throughout the whole thing so that's what I want to stress to her give it a go if it doesn't yeah. work out that's fine you're not letting anyone down it's yeah it's no. fine yeah, for sure, you know, and it is so worth trying because, you know, you'd hate for it to be in the same position in another year sitting there thinking maybe I should do it, maybe I should do it, you know. So Exactly. She does, she, you know, if it's not for her, it's not for her and she can That's be blood at any time. So. And she'll never have to think about it again. If she gives it a go, it doesn't work mm, out. I know. Yeah. 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 Instead of thinking about it for ages. Yeah. yeah. And just a reminder that, you know, we've got the cutter coming in the new year as a host reward. So it really is a great time to join because there will be a lot of people that already own Thermomixers that want demos, that want yeah. free cutters. So, you know, we're going to kind of have that tool up our sleeve to entice people to host. So that it is yeah, it is a worthwhile time. Yeah, beautiful. No, that's fine. I'll have a chat to her tomorrow and let you know how I go. Good luck. Thanks. Bye, ladies. Thanks, Thanks for tonight. I enjoyed it. Thank you. See you, mate. Bye. 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 Um, she's so lovely. Oh, I I know. I'm so glad that she. Oh, did I tell?